Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video I'm going to showcase something a little bit different. It's a budget deck. It's a budget aggro hunter that I actually played in Legend Ladder with 56% win rate. I know that's not so great, but this deck costs 1100 dust. No adventures, no epics, no legendaries, no nothing and it can take on tier 1 decks on an even basis. So I guess that has to count for something, right? The deck itself is a fairly regular aggressive hunt the deck, so you're really trying to curve out with this deck. You have a bunch of 1-drops, Alleycats, Darmos, Fireflies, then when turn 2 comes in you have, if you have been able to find a beast, which is Alleycat or Diamo, then you can raise or more that or you can kill it off and use it to call the scavenging hyena. But even if you don't have a beast on board, then die wolf alpha helps with all of the all of the one drops to gain in more damage. The curve continues into turn tree, animal companion, bear shark, eagle horn bow, kill command, unleash. Bear shark is especially good against slow decks, because slow decks typically have a lot of trouble trying to get rid of bear shark because it cannot be targeted with spells. Whereas Eagle Horn Bow is especially good against decks where you want to remove some of the opponent's minions. As for 4 drops, there's Houndmaster, so if you have managed to stick any beast, especially something like a Bear Shark or an Animal Company, Animal Company is also pretty good, then you can Houndmaster that to make it bigger. And there's two copies of Spellbreak, because you really, really need to go through those Void Lords to get to the Warlock. As for the top end cards for this build, I have chosen two copies of Nesting Rock. It's a cheap card, it's a big body, it's pretty difficult for the opponent to remove its 4 7 body, and because it can also be given taunt if you have some minions, you can use that to protect the rest of your minions on the board in order to be able to deal more damage. And finally, the curve tops out at Argent Commander which gives you a little bit of more reach, a little bit more charge damage. In the first versions of this build I only had the kill commands and looking at the statistics I won many games where I had kill command and if I couldn't find kill command I didn't win. So adding the Argent Commander gave me another card that gives me a little bit more reach and that has resulted in an improved win rate. This Argent Commander could even be a Reckless Rocketeer which would push down the cost of this deck to 1000 dust exactly. Or it could be a Leroy Jenkins, which then again would multiply the cost of the deck. If you think about building this deck to a full cost deck, then in the current meta I would probably replace the Fireflies with Hungry Crabs, because Murloc Paladin is a thing. But in just a couple of weeks, when the Witchwood is going to come out, Murlocs might no longer be a thing, so don't craft Hungry Crab right now if you don't have it. Furthermore, if you're facing a lot of slow decks, Priest, Warlock, then replacing Nesting Rock with a bit of Tide Hydra would improve your chances on those matchups. But Nesting Rock is better against other aggressive matchups, so it, it's also a meta call. Overall, a fun, relatively easy, and relatively cheap hunt the build that's nonetheless able to perform quite well in the current meta. So, if you're looking for something cheap to play and climb now near the end of the season, then this is definitely a deck that can take you there. As always, I've prepared some gameplay material of this deck for you, and being a budget deck, there are some painful losses in this, and some nice victories as well. And I hope you enjoy that. If you do, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at some budget hunter in Legend. Yeah. But it doesn't really have anything to do with Dota. The game was already in design before it was decided to move it into Dota world. And Artifact is being designed by Richard Garfield, who is the... who was the creator of Magic the Gathering back in 1993. So it's going to be really, really huge. And Kill Hearthstone, no, you can't kill a game that's as popular as Hearthstone. But definitely there will be more competition. It's like Dota 2 and LOL. I have to play the Hyena out there, even though it dies. 
Cards like Silver Duel, Text on Magic Arena cards. Yellow and Morrison, I had the exact same experience. I just. I just didn't feel like I can really play the game effectively. Well, I don't have beta access, so I couldn't play the game anyway, but. Oh dear, oh dear. Raisamo or Animal Companion? We are all the Animal Companion. Leop doesn't protect the scavenging hyena. Ouch. Painful roll. I could have sacrificed this to play around Hellfire. But if he hits here and Hellfires, then it's just as much damage almost as it would be anyway. He could have a spell stone, it's 5 damage. Can't defile this board away. That he can of course do. Still not quite enough even with the hellfire, so we're just hitting face here. That's enough with a spell stone. He can have a spell stone that deals five. If he had one, wouldn't he have used it last turn? Yes, he would have. He tapped after the librarian, so yeah. He doesn't have a five damage spell stone. He could still have a hellfire. Well, this one survives a hellfire because that's only five damage. Okay. We're really trying to race here. Horn died because it's a sub based game. Heroes of Neverth. Mm, yeah. It's been a long time since I've last heard that name. He could have a Hellfire still. I think I need to raise them all. Let's try to make this something special. Can't be targeted with spells or hero powers. Or plus three attack. He can still kill it with... I have to go with the plus three attack. I just have to. And the animal companion. Oh, too bad for a wolf, Misha. I would have preferred it. either of the two others. Hellfire Defile clears this board. Now he has enough mana to play that. Puts him down to 14 without a board. Then there's of course Slacky into the yes, Hellfire Defile. Okay, okay. We're trying to race here, but... Not sure. He... It's still, well, he could play the Lackey and Pact if he has that. Only the World of Warcraft still this popular boost, there's no actual competition. Mm, who knows? Oh, that's an interesting move. Do I want to kill the Doom God? Because he, well, he lost the cube. He could have faceless. Oh, that's really interesting. If I kill the Doom God, he cannot do anything with a cube or faceless. Well, he can faceless the Argent Commander. If I allow him to faceless the Doom God or cube it. Oh, that's a problem. If I push 5, that puts him down to 7. He faceless is this. But in two turns he can play a Void Lord. I have to go face. Because the risk of risk of Void Lord is too great. The Divine Shield on the Argent Commander protects it a little bit. He can have another Hellfire. Oh dear, that's Spellstone. That's a big deal, because now if he gets the Void Lord next turn, that's going to be a really big deal. So I have four, nine, eleven. 
And that's it, right? And if he can heal, he can heal. I have to do it. There are no other options. Because now he has to heal. And there are no minions on the board. He can't cast a spell stone into anything. Unless he plays something from hand and casts the spell stone on that. Even if he has a Void Lord now, it doesn't mean anything. He has a Dark Pact now. Ouch. And then if he has Gul'dan. But there's a bow. There's a bow. And go in with the bow. Pushing him to tree doesn't help. But now if he has Gul'dan. It brings back a Doom God and puts him to nine. He has Gul'dan. No! No! Oh no! And I have to keep hitting face. He can kill the nesting rock. I still need to play it. Oh man. He's go he goes up to seven. So there would have to be five minions for Unleash to kill him. I have another kill command left. It's not yet a lethal setup. Two hounds. Two. I have an out. I have an out with plus three attack. Because that would be five. Plus two. If I do that, I will no longer have any other outs. Kill command won't be an out after this. But he heals for three. So he gets to... He goes to five, he gets to eight. He doesn't play more minions because he doesn't have any. Is 30% my best chance to win the game? I think it is. Here we go for the 30% win. That's not enough for the 30% win. He could have a... He could have a Faceless Manipulator. Faceless Manipulator would have been lethal. I had to kill the Doom God when I didn't have the lethal. Because Faceless with the Doom God would have been lethal. But now I can't get lethal this turn. And he heals to 8 so I can't get lethal next turn either. Even with the kill command top deck. But if I don't play the alley cat. I have to play the alley cat. Saving for kill command doesn't do anything. If only you had 3 damage hero power. Yes. If only. If only I did. Oh no that's going to pull a void lord from hand. So then I will not be able to deal any more damage. That's going to give him a Void Lord now. He doesn't have a Void Lord in hand. But the Doom Guard can still kill the Bear Shark. And he's going to get up to 9. I can't beat this. I just can't beat this. Five, seven. Now I must not play the Dire Mole. Because now Kill Command is an out. With the Dire Mole played, he gets up to seven with the hero power.
No, no, he has a dog pact. No outs anymore. I'm not sure how many times he used the hero power, but I think it was around five times. No one drops. Ouch. Would have loved to find a one drop. Yeah. He was sacrificing a hyena into that just feels so bad. I think I need to. I need to get rid of this fellow so that I can play Bear Shark. Sometimes you just have to throw away good cards. And this was the time when I had to throw that away so that I could play the Bear Shark. Yeah, what are you going to do about that? Ha! Huh. Do I track now? I already have one silence available. I think it's perfectly viable to track now. Let's see what else I have coming. I'll grab the bow, bow thank you very much. Play another bear shark. But now the problem is that he could have a hellfire. But this forces out the hellfire if he has it. Animal company and hero power. Or nesting rock. He still has the coin, so he can still play Lucky into Pact. Something is wrong with my animal company, it didn't roll Huffer. If he has a Spellstone, he can kill this. But he has the coin, so he can also play Lucky and Coin Pact. These Warlocks are too good at drawing cards. They're just too good. Well, there is the upside that I have the silence effect here. But it's that 8 healing that hurts the most. Of course, if he also has a cube, then... And that's a huge problem. But we'll see about that cube. He is a cube lock, though. So I need to push as much damage as I can. The quickest way to push damage is to play Direwolf Alpha, that's 10. I can push 15 this turn. I have to. But he heals 4 next turn. And he gets the demon. If he had another pact, he would have already used it on the Void Lord. This one kills this. This one kills this. If I push just eight and play the nesting rock. I think I need to push as much damage here as I can. He's going to heal up to 8, potentially more. He can clear the board. I could win with a kill command top deck. Unless he has more healing. Lots of Warlocks tonight, lots of Warlocks. And it's very difficult to play aggressive deck against Warlock. Warlock is just meant to crush these kinds of decks. What kind of we weird hybrid is that? That's a weird, weird version of the deck. Well, he played too many minions. Time to get punished. Let's find out what this one is going to be. He kept one card. Haha, <laughs> Yagro. Good to see you. Is it a notch out lyric? It's not a notch out lyric. Alright. Open up the Dire Mall. 
Is the small razor mole bear shark Houndmaster or mole coin bear shark? He can play Dark Reaper next turn. Coin bear shark means that I could only raise a mole the bear shark, so I think I need to raise a mole here. All the non damage options. Feels bad, man. All the non damage options. There's a 90% chance to get damage when you evolve, adapt, but I didn't find any of those. Pyramid, have you considered going for the secret spell stone hunter? It's more expensive than this one. He can have. Yeah, he could have the Duskbreaker for next turn. But this one survives Duskbreaker, and then I can Houndmaster it afterwards. Does he have a Duskbreaker? He surely has to have Duskbreaker, right? He kept a card. I could also coin Houndmaster on this one. Then he can Duskbreaker this either. It's going to be better. This is the line. This is the line, because this renders Duskbreaker very ineffective. Sure, it puts this one down to one, but he can't use Duskbreaker and Potion of Madness on the same turn. So he can't grab this to attack with it. That's an interesting card. Is it a card that I have to react to? Next turn he could have something like Point Size Horror. Which would conveniently kill all of my stuff. But if I spend a lot of resources killing the Priest of the Feast now... I also make the board vulnerable to Duskbreaker. So nah. We're just going face. Show me the spells, Priest. He might have them. Pint Size Horror would be perfect here. But what's the probability that he has Pint Size Horror? It's pretty low. If he kills something else than the Hyena, then the Hyena starts growing. Okay, well, I guess this time he has a lot of spells. They don't always have that. Now he can kill off the Hyena and actually get rid of the Razomo. Is the same that he recommended to Diano? Almost, yeah. I made some improvements. But basically it's the same deck, yes. Now he spent the card that he kept. So I don't have a good read on whether he has a Duskbreaker or not. Which means that I will spend 3 damage to kill that one. Whereas the Houndmaster and Hero Power will go face. This is most likely a Control Priest. Doesn't look like a Combo Priest. Combo Priest usually doesn't run Priest of the Feast. Now he wants to play the Duskbreaker. Yeah. Figured as much. Play Bear Shark, Firefly, Hero Power. I might have also played the Scavenging Hyena. Hi, Hyas. Because Bear Shark is something he probably needs to trade into. So I already played one Powered Shield. Nice, Zola. I could obviously kill that Zola. Another Dusk Breaker now. If I play Scavenging Hyena, Unleash, kill that Zola. Scavenging Hyena becomes a 6 4. How much does it really help my attempt to win the game? I think I'll still hold on to that one. And just push, push a little bit more damage to face. I mean, he needs to find another Priest of the Feast or some other healing. Or eventually I can wear him down, I guess. 
This indicates the playing of the second Dusk Breaker now. I still have Health Total to play with. If I now play the Scavenging Hyena, Unleash. Any special reason to play Firefall or Jeweled Macaw? Jeweled Macaw is not... It's, it's a value card, it's not a tempo card. This deck is not nearly slow enough to play Jeweled Macaw. Hyena Unleash. If I kill off the tree into the Dusk Breaker, the Hyena becomes a... 8-5. He can still trade it away on the board. What if I Argent Commander his face now? I like that. We're going to Northrend. I like this one. This puts more pressure on him. If he plays more minions, there's the risk of Unleash. He has to fight more healing. That is not healing. Gets rid of some minions. So I have five, I am two off. And now I'm not off at all anymore. That's beautiful. Boom. Silence is too expensive to keep. I have to try to be more aggressive. I can keep the bow. Because the bow can be used to protect my minions. I can't find a one drop again. I'm just not drawing any one drops lately. To play the Razor Maw out there. I can protect the Razor Maw with the bow, and then I can Houndmaster the Razor Maw. That's the current plan. How afraid am I of an Spite Historian, though? Because the other alternative is to simply push face. I guess I am a little bit afraid of it. Let's try to do the best I can to ensure that the Razor Maw would live. So that I get to Houndmaster it. Seven, that's pretty rough. I believe I need to go face now. Yeah, let's just hit face here. Duskbreaker doesn't kill this, so he will need to trade with the Twilight Drake. He could have a Twilight Acolyte, of course. Yeah, we're pushing him into the face now. Let's push nine to the face and see if I can raise this. Spellbreaker. Now this turn has to be the animal companion. Let's roll Huffer. If I can deal five. Always Huffer. Now he needs a taunt for next turn. No, he doesn't. Healing his face is enough, because Sergeant Commander costs too much. Unless I can find... Unless I can find a kill command. That one works too. I even had two more with the Dialog Yeah, Kill Command was an out, Unleash was an out. 
Another huffer was an out. Maybe I'll try with this hand. I don't have any one drops, but I'm I am on the coin. Let's see. He didn't have a notch shark cleric. I'm going to die with Alpha first. If he had a cleric, I would have played the Razor more first. But now I can play the Direwolf and then I can raise more it next turn if he doesn't have a way to kill it now. Plus one plus one means that it cannot be stolen with a potion of madness. Nor killed with a shadow word horror. Let's roll the yok. I could also just unleash. Let's roll the Diok. Well, Huffer also works. He can Dusk Break at the board next turn, though, just before I could Hound Master. So, Dusk Break here would be really bad for me. He didn't keep any, so it's probably to have it is a little bit low. But he finds exactly that card. Play the Huntmaster anyway. Too bad that he had the Duskbreaker. Dark Reaper into Duskbreaker, that's very powerful. Into Operative, that's really, really powerful. Okay, now this game is slipping away. Was there a different line that would have allowed me to win this one? He does have the perfect cards, so I guess maybe there wasn't a way. He can trade away the Bear Shark really easily too. I still have to play the bear shark. There's just no comeback from Dark Reaper, Dusk Breaker, Dragon, and Operative. That's too strong. That is simply too strong. And then he even finds the Argent Commander. That's beautiful. Doesn't look like I can do this, but is there some way for me to race with the Unleash? If he plays more minions on the board. You wish to live forever. Nine, ten, thirteen. There are some ways for me to die here, but. I think I have to silence the Tar Creeper and then push and hope he doesn't have any bu any buffs. But I would have to set up for lethal for next turn. One mana off from being able to play Die Wolf Alpha and then still hero power. Because all I have is next turn. I push for this turn, he goes down to 12. Then I can do Unleash. Your magic shall not save you. Maybe I could have done Unleash this turn. I mean, I know I had to leave all of his minions up, so if he has lethal damage this turn, I would always be dead. But what if I did unleash that turn instead of hero power? I would have put him down to 10. That would have been better. Unleash would have been better play. This was, this was bad for me. Well, if he's going all face and kills me this turn, then obviously none of it matters. Because there was no way I can trade any of the minions away try to work my way up from there. But I could have pushed another to put him to 10. Would be at 12, I would not have an unleash left. 
and I would have another unleash. I would be able to push four, six, eight. I still wouldn't have enough. So now I have to play the die wolf alpha. I need to unleash first. Then I need to play the die wolf. Then I need to trade there first. Then there. Then I need to unleash again. Then I can trade there, trade there, trade there, and trade there. And then I can push for the face. So I'm alive at 4 health currently. And I'm threatening lethal. Not really threatening lethal, actually I'm I'm too off if he just heals his face, even if he doesn't Let do anything else. Have, what would you have done? So now it's bear shark. Hound master the bear shark. And push for the face. He needs four damage. He could have silence. It has to be mass dispel because he can't target this with silence. It can be a cabal song stealer though. Yeah, that works. Try with these, I guess. This can get ugly. Next, I'll open the firefly. Next turn is flame elemental, I'll eat it. And then the bow. He's going to coin a. He's a quest mage. Alright. Well. Then we're trying to go all in here. Deal some damage. Tracking can be useful later. Do I want the bow? Or do I just want to get the hero power in there? I think I want the hero power in there. Because I couldn't bow and hero power. This game will last at least six turns. So I can get the full value from the bow. Probably an ice block. Next turn he can coin Frost Nova Doomsayer. I can track for silence next turn. Yeah, I don't have to play it yet. Just get the minions out there. Try to hit face. Track for silence if he get, has the coin for Snow Doomsayer. Doesn't have the Doomsayer, that's good. Because I can use the bow to kill the Artificer. He can of course coin Blizzard now. Which will wipe most of this board. But it will not kill the Bear Shark. And he doesn't get the additional arm. Okay, we have got rid of two freezes so far. Which isn't bad. I'm going to hold on to the bow charge a little while longer. If there's a doomsayer, I have to track for silence. Well, double blizzard and frost snow is pretty strong. Leok doesn't really help. Well, now both blizzards are gone, so I can just play the scavenging hyena out there. You would need to get more from random effects. Tree freeze is gone. Doesn't have a lot of cards available. Well, he gets some card draw. But finding a fourth freeze is so unlikely. 
can I pop? 7, 10, 12, 15, 17, I can pop. And what do you do if you can pop? You pop. If you can pop a mage, you pop a mage. Okay. That's how we start. He has already spent one uh, one artificer. One ice block. There's another artificer left, there's another ice block. That's the ice block, right? Can he find the combo? But I need to maintain a board presence. Just in case that there's something I can do with that. I have needed an nesting rock here. He has another artificer left, right? Probably no tracking yet. Because kill command is also an option, unless he can go with the combo now. 11 cards left in the deck. He has only played one random spell though. It will be difficult for him to play all the random spells. Two ice blocks dealt with. Okay, there's the artificer. More secrets. Oh no. A lot more secrets. So there's barrier. There's barrier and something. There could be another block, so I want to trade away the artificer. Do I also trade away the babbling book? Yeah, I believe I do. If there's a barrier, he's at 16. There's the barrier. I need to deal another 14 damage. That's 11. And there was no block. Alright. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.